Hey everybody, so this is my Q&A video. Thank you Pink Mermaid 22 for suggesting it. And I think I might do one once a month. I think that might be cool. Um, but before I begin, I just want to say thank you, thank you from the bottom of my little weirdo heart for all the awesome messages that you guys have sent me. And it just, it was, it was really awesome and just, it just meant a lot to me. Thank you so much and I can't thank you enough and I hope to continue to make vlogs that you guys will enjoy. So a lot of your questions were surrounded by my personal experience in tight lacing and I want you to know that I might not get through all of them because uh, I'm going to dedicate videos to it because a lot of them require more in-depth uh, explanation and this is a Q&A video and I don't want to just like zip through it and I don't want you guys to be sitting there for like two hours watching this either. <laughs> um, so just hang tight for my personal videos but until then I'm going to link you to Lucy's Corsetry. She has awesome videos that seriously... Is so informative and straight to the point and they're just like awesome and Lucy's awesome all around so send her love her way send love her way <laughs> and also Cora from The Laundry Addict her website is chock full of information and I love her articles they're really awesome so I'm gonna link you to that and with that let's begin the Q&A what's your favorite corset of all time so my favorite corset of all time and it's totally biased but it's my first 16 inch corset by Shane Aaron because it was his first 16 inch that he's ever constructed. It took about two months to construct, but my favorite of all all time would have to be it's so hard to pick, but something with Derry Mugler and Mr. Pearl collaboration. They're seriously so amazing. Even though it seems that you are doing exactly what you are meant to be doing now, smiley face. As a child, did you have a different idea of career, life path? that you wanted, thought you would be taking. I always was, I was always like a very avid dreamer and I wasn't, I just knew I wanted to do big things as far as art and just in the creative world. And as I became older, that kept evolving into the idea of working alongside people I've respected and admired and looked up to in a creative environment. And I'm so blessed that a lot of those things have happened and I hope they continue to happen and really it just I've always hoped to just become everything I loved and it seems to be going that way <laughs> and uh, I will continue to work towards uh, certain goals that I set forth for myself and I hope you guys will join me on that adventure and um, yeah. how do you eat enough while tight lacing so I'm actually a really big foodie and if you've been following me for a while, you know I love cheeseburgers and I will never sacrifice that. So when I go out to dinner with friends or on dates, or if I know I'm just going to get my grub on, honestly, I wear an underbust long line corset and I feel it doesn't feel any different for me whether I'm in or out of a corset. But please keep in mind, I've been a tight lacer for years now, so my body has already been acclimated and also... Uh, I figured out what works for my body and what doesn't work for my body and I think that's really important to keep in mind Hi Kelly, I'm pretty new to the idea of waist training I want to take off two to three inches of my waist using waist trainers Which brands or kinds would you suggest to start off with? Um, so I a hundred 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 percent if you Really honestly want to do real waist training or real tight lacing either one recommend doing a custom corset these designers who have worked so hard to make corsets study the body, different genders, different sizes, different types. They know what they're doing. That's why I always, always recommend custom above all. But if custom is a little bit too pricey for you right now, Lucy has a really great list of corsets that are under $200 and I will definitely link you to that. I personally have used Sin and Satin, Lovesick, Shane Aaron, and oh and vengeance designs those have been the ones so far but i plan to buy from pumont carousel sparkle wren dark garden um and i think the, oh and lovely rats what's your educational background i have a background in business and fashion design my biggest question would be what you think is the best diet for waist training um so please keep in mind, I'm not a professional uh, dietitian and I'm not a professional nutritionist or personal trainer. I have trained before and I used to be a really big gym rat. Well, I'm still...
still kind of a gym rat. But um, I don't think there is one way to do it. I think you just have to figure out what works for you. Me, personally, uh, my diet is high fiber and high protein. And I actually did try something out. I tried the abs diet and I really actually enjoyed it. I did see a reduction in my waistline. The only difference I saw between my diet and the abs diet was uh, adding more dairy to it. Hey Kelly, I really want my hair color like yours, but I'm really light skin. Any ideas? Well, it seems like your hair is already light as it is, so I would just go the lightest you can. Just bleach it, but bleach it at a salon, please. I don't want you to damage your hair. God, I've done that so many times. Um, and then you, they tone it out, and once they tone it out, just put blue in it. And the blue that I use is the blue from Pravana Chroma Silk Color Vivids. It's just called blue. That's it. But it's a How do you decide what photographers to work with and what projects to shoot? That's a great question. When photographers email me, I check out their portfolio. If they don't link their portfolio, then I probably won't shoot with them because something is pretty fishy about that. Because even I link my portfolio. So if their style uh, works with the brand that I'm trying to build and headed to the uh, direction that I wish to go to, then, you know, we'll work out the logistics. Also, really, really big, big, big thing, if I love their use of lighting, whether it be natural light or studio lights, then we're definitely probably going to work together. And as far as projects, I just think about whether I'm going to have fun, honestly, or is it um, going to help me, like I said, with the brand that I'm trying to build. And if the photographer or whoever wants to work on a project with me is open to having me collaborate with them that'd be awesome because there's nothing much there's nothing greater than being the subject and also being the creative director and i love being creative director how did you get started in alternative modeling well when i first started modeling i was a brunette and when you're a brunette and you're curvy you get stuck with you get pigeonholed to do some modeling that is not really my style to be honest so I just decided one day I'm gonna dye my hair green and <laughs> so I did and I shot with Miami Media I shot with Sydney Etney oh my god I'm probably mispronouncing your name I'm so sorry and I started working for Clawtex and you know everything just I just kept getting the bookings that I wanted to get and it was awesome and I feel so grateful and blessed to have those opportunities but I think things really really catapulted for me when I was with Clawtex in Montreal Fetish Weekend and I walked in I was doing a runway show with them and the way Montreal received me was incredible thank you so much Montreal like seriously and sharing a runway with Bianca Bichamp was just my wildest dreams like I never even thought that would ever happen like ever ever and I just kept going, kept going with it. So, and if you guys want me to make a video with tips or advice and stuff, then please let me know because a lot of people don't even know that I'm five feet tall. <laughs> so don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. Shorties. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What made you start corseting and what was your first goal for your waist when you started? So what made me first start corseting was uh, all my favorite couture designers, their corsets, I found out who was behind those corsets, and it was Mr. Pearl. And in further researching Mr. Pearl, I I just became completely enamored, in love, in lust, enthralled, infatuated. He is a tight lacer himself. He has tight laced down to 18 inches, which is incredibly, incredibly hard. But, um... I don't know, I just find it really, there's something just really romantic to me that a corseteer would take their love of corsetry to the next level and become a tight lacer. And, and I know a lot of people don't agree with my reasoning, and that's completely okay, but for me, I, I was in love with Mr. Pearl. I was in love with his dedication, I was in love with his discipline. I thought it was incredible, and I wanted to be part of that world. And as far as... Uh, corset goals, I will talk th about that in my video, so you'll have to hold tight for that one. What face makeup do you use? Example, primer, foundation, powders. I actually have an MUA that I always go to, and I love her to death, Nana. And now, since I've mentioned her, I'm forcing her to get a YouTube channel. <laughs> uh, I use the HD High Definition Primer in Zero, but I also use Hourglass's Mineral Veil. I love it. It's really great. 
And for foundation, I use the HD and 128 from Makeup Forever. I also use the Studio Fix Fluid in NC25 from MAC. I, and for powder, I use the Skin Finish, the Mineralized Skin Finish in the Highlighter Perfect Topping and in Medium. I love those two, they're really awesome. I use the Select Sheer Press Powder from MAC in NC30, I believe. And Laura Mercier, um, her translucent setting powder, love that stuff in between because I'm a little bit oily, I have a T-zone, so I love that stuff in between. And if you guys want me to do beauty tutorials, please let me know because I kind of think my makeup is a little on the boring side, it's not very adventurous, but you guys let me know. How do you keep that beautiful hair of yours so healthy? Aww. Um... So, it took a lot of trial and error, <laughs> but one of the things I really love is Bumble and Bumble Mending Repair Cream for your hair. I love it, especially now, like during the winter for, for us New Yorkers or anybody else who is in cold weather. It really dries your hair out, and I love that stuff. It's really great. Um, and I also use Redken Extreme Hairline stuff, the shampoo and the conditioner, and I got both those items from Amazon. I know you love comics. Would you ever or have you gone to Comic-Con? Yes! <laughs> I love Comic-Con. Uh, Comic-Con is so much fun. It's, you know, it's in October in New York, and um, October is my favorite month. Halloween and Comic-Con, blow. Uh, what makes you truly happy? Do you have to wear your corset 24-7? Thanks for doing the video. Can't wait. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> what makes me truly happy? Uh, honestly... Making my parents proud, I, I, it's the most amazing feeling, honestly. I, and making them happy is just, ugh, it's everything, honestly. I have incredible parents and making them proud and happy is just, it's pretty, it's an ultimate feeling. Um, also being recognized by people you admired and idolized for so long and they've been such a huge inspiration to you and have them, you know, just even send you a, a message or a comment be like, hey, I dig your work. It's, it's the most mind-blowing feeling also ever. Um, but also what makes me happy is um, when I see like my Latinos doing big things. It really makes me, me siento bien orgullosa when I, when I see that, you know? Uh, when Gina Rodriguez won the Golden Globe, it was just like, her speech was just so epic, and she's right. We do want to see ourselves as heroes, and when she won that, it was incredible because I just thought oh, the people that she just inspired is it's dope. So I get it. those are the three things that make me really happy, and a very delicious medium rare cheeseburger. <laughs> uh, I love my cheeseburgers, <laughs> and um. Do I have to wear my corset 24-7? No, I, I don't have to wear my corset 24-7. But um, I don't wear it to the gym and whenever I do like... And sometimes I'm just like not in it, but I'm a, a corset fetishist and I truly enjoy being in my corset, you know. So I'm usually... You can usually find me in a corset, but I don't have to be in it. I won't break in half, guys. It's okay. <laughs> Wondering what your bra size is. I'm a big chested lady too. <laughs> and where you buy them. So, I'll help a fellow bosom buddy out. <laughs> um, I'm actually a 30 double D, so Boobapedia, you have it wrong. And although I love lingerie, I think I own more lingerie than I have real clothes, when it comes to my everyday bra, <laughs> I love the 18 hour Playtex active lifestyle bra. It's, it's pretty amazing. Thick straps, no wire. Perfect. It's a dream. And I buy it at that really sexy place called Amazon. <laughs> Not sexy at all. <laughs> but um, I'll link you. It's one of my favorite bras, honestly. And I also love this one by Champion, but I can't remember the exact name of it. But I'll link you to that one, too. So I think that's it for all the Q&A questions. If I didn't get to your question, don't worry. I probably have a video dedicated to it. And um, thank you for sending him in. That was actually really fun. <laughs> Until next time, keep it weird, be love always. Mm -hmm.